started out down around US Route 127 and Hollinsburg Arcanum Road, and we continued to get reports off and on. Deputies were searching those areas for this particular vehicle. Eventually, several minutes later, we had received a call that the vehicle was up here in the area of State Route 49, around the 8,000 block or so. And the callers who called it in were also able to get a license plate number. Deputies were nearby, so they were responding to the area to address the issue. In the meantime, the car crashed. Witnesses observed the crash. Uh, the car drove off the right side of the road and struck a utility pole, snapped the utility pole, it landed on top of the vehicle. Uh, witnesses who were also talking to the Dark County Sheriff's Office supposedly reported that he, uh, the driver of the vehicle exited the vehicle and was running around, acted like he was running away, and was acting essentially inappropriate. Uh, in the meantime, because of the license plate information provided by some of the, the uh, witnesses, we were able to run that license plate number prior to the deputies arriving, and we realized that that car and that license plate had a, an alert indicating to us that the car was uh, being looked at as being connected to a crime up in the Cleveland area, Elyria, Ohio, and that there might be connected to a missing person's case. Uh, when deputies arrived, they arrived on the scene. They found the male subject driver already returned back to the vehicle, just standing there. Uh, they took him into custody without incident and secured him and detained him so we could do an investigation and figure out what was going on. Uh, EMS was called to treat him in case he was injured as a result of the crash. I will tell you that because he appeared to be possibly under the influence or su su uh, suffering some sort of a, a, a mental issue, he was transported uh, by rescue to a local hospital for evaluation. He was eventually taken into custody when we learned that the person had a warrant for his arrest out of Elyria, Ohio. That was on a warrant for felonious assault. So once he was cleared from the hospital, he was transported to the Dark County Jail where he's being held on those Elyria or Cuyahoga County charges. Go ahead. Um, once the deputies secured the uh, male subject, which by the way, he is identified as Roy Owens Jr. That's Roy Owens Jr. He's a, an adult male. I don't have his age and I don't have his address or where he's from. He's not from here. Um, once the subject was detained and secured by the deputies because of the information involving the missing uh, person that was connected to it, and at the same time we were receiving immediate communications with detectives from Elyria that worked the case, uh, we searched the vehicle uh, to, make, to see if we could locate anybody that might be injured or suffering some sort of problem. In the process, what we discovered was an adult, what appears to be, let me correct myself here, we found what appears to be an adult female deceased subject in the trunk of this motor vehicle. 